Bob O'Connor uh, as he prepares to retire after 36 years on the city council. At 5 p.m. on Friday, we hold a ceremony outside of the alderman's office at 60 East Downer Place following a walkthrough reception in city council chambers. Because everyone cannot speak on Friday, I will turn it over to each council member to share comments tonight, followed by some brief words from Alden, Alderman O'Connor. I know he'll have much more to say on Friday evening, as I will as well. But let me uh, begin briefly thanking the man who I've, who I've had the honor of sitting next to or uh, a couple seats down uh, from him for uh, the last 14 years. Well, next to the last four years and uh, two seats over, 10 before that. And in 10 years as his fellow alderman at large, uh, and, and you know, my, my pleasure to uh, have sat next to him, you know, and, and reached over and touched him from time to time as, as mayor. You know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let the alderman, you know, share some brief words and, and, and then I'll, maybe I'll, I'll cap it off. Um, you know, why don't we start out with our, with our senior aldermen who have been with, uh, been with Bob for, for so long, alderman, uh, alderman Seville. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, well, Bob, where does one begin after 36 years of, uh, of service, nine terms? Uh, it's, a, it's a record of, of service uh, that uh, only you have held uh, in our community. Um, you've, you've seen a lot. You've been a part of a lot of projects and developments. You've uh, approved a lot of resolutions and ordinances over the years. Um, you know, should we start in 1985 or should we start in the 70s when Mayor McCoy uh, pointed you to the library board? Uh, you served there for many years before going to the city council. Uh, and we have to mention also your work with the Exchange Club over the years uh, and your, uh, your advocacy on behalf of, of seniors. Um, uh, I think um, you've been a part of a lot of uh, projects, uh, as I mentioned. Um, you've even... Um, uh, named uh, a fund uh, the, and came up with the acronym SHAPE, uh, which to this day uh, is, is being allocating uh, funds to very important capital projects. I think the city has improved, Bob, under your, your leadership. Um, in fact, uh, it's gone from around 80,000 people to the second largest city uh, in the state of Illinois, over 200,000. Um, you've been a good uh, steward of the uh, the people's interests, I think. Uh, you've been very thoughtful. Uh, you've been articulate. Uh, you've been known to crack a joke from time to time. Uh, and as we can see with your background, you've been a, a very good reader and up on history and current events. And I'm sure that's helped you over the years. Um, I would also say that uh, it was a pleasure serving with you on finance committee for 18 years. Uh, when we first uh, received our first budget, uh, it was nowhere near what it's, what it's become today. And I think that has a lot with uh, the questions that you and I first asked of our division and, and department heads, uh, besides the, uh, what they're looking to do in the current year, what are, they, year with the, what are they looking to do down the road, five years, 10 years. Uh, and I think the budget has been better uh, under uh, uh, your leadership. I wish you well. I would urge you not to disappear. Uh, please be continue to be involved and active in our community. We need good people uh, willing to serve uh, as you have had for these many, many years and decades. Uh, you've served our mayor as mayor for a short period of time. You ran for mayor in uh, 1977. Uh, you came close, uh, but it's been really a pleasure uh, serving with you on the council. And I just wish you and your bride, Mary, and your two sons and your grandchildren all the best. Uh, and uh, again, continue to be active, Bob. We'll miss you on the council. Thank you, Mike. You're muted, Mayor. I'm sorry. Let's go to Alderman Hardberg. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. Bob, thank you for the fine work that you've done. I had the pleasure 30 plus years ago to serve on the very first committee and that was finance with Alderman Bob O'Connor. And then it's most befitting that as you retire, I'm serving on finance again. I am uh, happy to call you my friend. We go way back. He was a help to Ms. Wilkerson just like I was. If I had a call about something, Bob had a call about something. 
Miss Wilkinson left nothing unturned and she made sure that if something was going on, that Bob was gonna hear about it and Bob was gonna do something about it. Then she would call me with some of the same complaints, but either way it went, what Ms. Wilkinson asked for, she got it. Bob, you have been so methodical uh, as the chairman for the finance committee and um, you and Bug started uh, thinking alike. I almost want to elbow Bug one day because you all have your past, you're writing down some of the same things. They're like, how in the world y'all know what each other thinking? But the committee, you know, ran very good. Staff knew what to do and what to bring to you. But every now and then you had to put a little mm in it to say, no, let's look at this. But I'm just so grateful um, to have served with you all these years. And I'm grateful that the knowledge that you have, that you've shared a lot of it with us and we can help others through your knowledge. But right now, I know your beloved wife is happy to have you home because you're gonna have a honeydew list. You're gonna have a granddaddy list. And you have a list that says, oh, I'm gonna to try to find me somewhere to go. But uh, I am grateful um, to have served with you. And I know every good thing comes to an end. And not that you're ending, I'm like, I'm like Mike, you're gonna find something to do with the group of aging. You love working with seniors and you love helping people. So Bob, I'm not gonna say, hang up your coat. I'm gonna say, get ready for your next venture. I know it's out there waiting for you. Thank you for all the years of service and all the conversation and all the encouragement that you've given me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shakita. Alderman Garza. You're on mute. You're on mute, Alderman Garza. Thank you for all you teaching us because 16 years ago when I started and uh, I had so much ideas, what I want to do with the Latino community and blah, blah, blah. And you just listen to me and um, I really admire you. You are so calm all the time. So explain everything is smooth. So I understand everything. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, you are next to me. So all the time when I have questions and um, I don't understand sometimes things. So you explain, you have to time, you take your time to explain me perfectly to understand um, how to work in the government and not to be so much exciting like all the time. So we have to take everything smooth. So I really admire you. So now I think it's time for you to really enjoy your retirement. You give us a lot of time to us. You give us a lot of time to all the citizens in Aurora. So now it's time for your family, your grandkids, and enjoy, enjoy your retirement, so I can say. Thank you, Wani. All right, Ms. Yacos. Thank you, Mayor. When I first heard uh, and no disrespect to you, uh, Mr. Mayor, but I, I typically call, uh, I, I refer to Alderman O'Connor as Mayor Alderman. Um, respect for what he did, uh, stepping up to the plate a few years ago. But when I found out you were gonna retire, I actually, first thing I did was I picked up a pad uh, at home after I put the paper down, I started writing a whole bunch of thoughts and I'm like, okay, certainly not worthy to, to uh, ex exclude a lot of praise to you, uh, which would have been well-deserved. Uh, but I have a few thoughts that I want to share with you uh, more towards a personal note. And I had to write them down because it, it is a little bit of an emotional thing for me. Uh, and I would say perhaps also for my wife. Um, I, I was... You're a true statesman uh, who uh, continually reminds me of my fraternity's three uh, foundational pillars. These pillars refer to the principles as friendship, sound learning, and moral rectitude. Uh, pillars that I've personally witnessed you continuously uh, exude and convey since I came aboard uh, eight years ago. Uh, you always evaded any effort to mold an older person into some ideal. Your style uh, has been to encourage and empower this alderman within the boundaries afforded to us. I appreciate and will always cherish the guidance you provided over the years 
and I'll never forget the present and future successes uh, for this ward alderman uh, will also be attributable and tied into your continual and residual successes with the mayor, I mean, with the city of Aurora uh, as a mayor and as an alderman. Uh, but I would be remiss if I placed all the recognition of your accomplishments and achievements to you alone. Uh, they say that beside every great man, there's a great woman. And that lady is obviously Mrs. Mary O'Connor. Um, an indebted and affectionate thank you to you and Mrs. O'Connor, and that I truly believe both of you will be cherished and remembered for a very, very long time. Uh, wishing both of you and your family all the best that life has to offer with your next chapter moving forward. Thank you for your friendship. <clears throat> thank you very much, Ted. And Mary, thanks, you too. Alderman Bug. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> uh, kind of like Ted, when, when I learned that uh, Alderman O'Connor was going to be stepping down, I had a, a lot of emotion. Uh, a lot of thoughts came into my head, but really I came back to um, the point in time where the mayor uh, let me know that uh, I was gonna be on the finance committee. And uh, I told my wife, uh, that I was going to be on the finance committee. And she said, uh, well, you know, the only thing on the news that they talk about the people on finance committee is the I word. Now the I word is, is not what we know as a line I, I L L I N I, but the I word that you hear on the news about finance committee people is indictment. And I said, no, 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 no. There is different I words for Alderman O'Connor. <laughs> intelligent thought. A man of the utmost of intelligence. Investigation. Who's going to dig in deep and find out the answers. And the number one, most important, integrity. And that's what I feel that Alderman O'Connor has brought uh, to uh, being an alderman uh, the, as long as I've known him, each and every day, a man of integrity. And uh, it has been an honor and a privilege to, to sit next to him, to learn from him, uh, to uh, share our, our legal pads with each other and, and, and the thoughts that we had on how we can help move our city forward. And, you know, th this last year, uh, we weren't sitting next to each other. I think in our Hollywood squares, I was sitting below him, but uh, it's been really a, a challenge this last year, but we persevered and uh, to the leadership of Alderman O'Connor, uh, we just thank you uh, for teaching us and, and teaching myself uh, what it really means to be a man of integrity and, and to serve the people of Aurora. So I thank you. Thank you, Ed. Alderman Dinell. When recognizing Bob O'Connor for his many contributions to our city, it is altogether fitting and proper that we reference Lincoln, his favorite president. In 1863, Edward Everett made a speech that lasted almost two hours prior to Abraham Lincoln delivering the 272 words in the Gettysburg Express in less than three minutes. I could go on for hours tonight about Bob's accomplishments and contributions to the city of Aurora, but today I will strive to be like Abe. I first met Bob many years ago at a meeting at the Joint City Park District Aquatics Board. Swimming is one of the most popular forms of recreation, but public pools rarely support themselves, making funding sometimes difficult. Teaching kids and adults to swim is a life skill which is important to our community. Bob's calm and even leadership on the board has ensured they continued joint operations of the aquatic centers uh, to the benefit of the public. When elected eight years ago, I immediately looked to Bob as a mentor. While not on the finance committee, I attended their meetings to learn more about the finances of the city. Bob's leadership and insight on the finance committee has provide, uh, provided invaluable education to me, especially during the difficult times. Uh, Bob is a true student of government and is an expert on parliamentary procedures 
uh, which may I am most thankful for Bob's advice and friendship on the city council. It is always good to have uh, the long view and an accumulated wisdom of someone like Bob when making decisions that affect our community. Bob and his wife, Mary, live in the fourth ward and I will serve as their alderman, but I hope I can continue to count on their advice and counsel in the future. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bill. Franco. Yes, thank you. When a person becomes an alderman or alderwoman, there's not much training involved. You tend to look at the others for guidance and how they conduct themselves. And I often look to Bob for that. Uh, there are two words that I feel describe Bob, uh, integrity and character. And, and Bob, I wanna thank you for displaying those traits every single day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carl. Alderman Jenkins. Well, Bob, um, you know, when I think about it, uh, these three initials, CDC. No, I'm not talking about the Center for Disease Control. Okay? <laughs> I'm talking about class, dedication, and commitment. Okay? You, 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 you show that, you've shown that for so many years. Uh, I remember as a young uh, assistant economic development director, um, and we would come to before finance committee to make a presentation. Finance committee under Bob was a, was a teaching experience. Uh, as long as you came prepared, you could make it through. He was, he was always accommodating uh, for us. If our developers were late getting to the meeting or had to leave early, he would adjust the agenda accordingly, regardless of the moans and the groans of the other city personnel who had items on the agenda. And I would go up there and, and they would look and say, you went to Bob and you got Bob to do that. Yep. So when you show mm -hmm. respect, you got it from Bob O'Connor. So Bob, uh, you know, we're going to miss you. Uh, have fun and know that you have left the roar in good hands, but we know you're going to be there. And I always know I can make that phone call in here. Sherman, <laughs> say Bob, and we will go from there. So congratulations, enjoy, you always be class of a person who has love for Aurora, passion, and great spirit. Thank you, Sherman. Alderman Lofty. Bob, you've always been a uh, continued calming presence on the city council. And we've heard this, you've heard it on and on, sort of as a wise sage. And I, I may have taken up some of your stances as contrarian, but unfortunately I didn't, under my term, take up your calming presence. <laughs> I wish I had, <laughs> but uh, I think we all appreciate your dedication and hard work, especially with the finance committee. I know when you guys do budgets, you have whatever it is, eight, 10, 12 extra meetings that go on and on and on. And I've seen many of them. So, but not only that, as we lawyers do, I know you read all these minutia in the proposed ordinances and whether it's paragraph E on page 63, you, you do read all those things and have some great comments, which always has really helped. And finally, I'd like to say thank you for having my back and the back of all the aldermen. Um, when issues come up, you seem to really be there for us and that's really, really appreciative. So thank you. Thank you, Judge. Alderman Smith. You're on mute. You're getting down to the newbies, Alderman, Alder, uh, Alderman O'Connor. Um, so as I pondered today on some inspiration to share with you, um, I pulled a quote from one of my favorite presidents. Um, it states, there is no limit to the amount of good you can do if you don't care who gets the credit. The great late President Ronald Reagan. 
These, in my opinion, are very fitting words on how I have viewed you and your actions as aldermen. I've been in awe of your ability to so commonly speak, calmly speak up and speak out, make an impactful state, statement on a sit, whatever situation is at hand, and a level of intuition and a whole heck of a lot of common sense. And then you quietly sit back and allow it all to sink in. Alderman O'Connor, the amount of good you've done for this council, for the city of Aurora and its residents is immeasurable. I'm so proud to have spent just a little snippet of that time with you. Enjoy your retirement. You certainly have earned it. You certainly will be missed. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Alderman Yamas. Alderman O'Connor, we have not worked together for, for too long. We just unfortunately only had two years together, but even before coming on the council, that, you know, my law firm, all, all those guys had nothing but great things to say about you. Um, everything they said turned out to be true. You, as a fellow Illini and attorney here in Aurora, um, you were definitely a mentor for me. Um, being on finance isn't easy, but you made it um, a good experience. And like Alderman Lofshi, you mentioned you were always prepared and found things that even left me puzzled. Like, I, I know I read that, but where was that specific item? So, uh, you know, that's definitely is motivation for me to, to do the same and to, to make sure that I'm on, on top of my game the way that you have been for the last few decades. Uh, thank you for all of your service. And, you know, I really still expect you to, to see you at the Northeast neighbor meetings as soon as those pick back up. So you're not off the hook yet. Okay, thank you. Very good. Your thank you, Emmanuel. I think that was all the aldermen. I don't believe I missed, missed anyone. So, uh, you know, Alderman O'Connor, Bob, I'll just tell you, brother, you know, you and I, man, have sat in the same seats. And if, you know, you're the only person that I've had heated debates with that after you beat me in the heated debate, I like you more <laughs> at the end of the debate than I did at the beginning. That's because, sir, you are a, a, a scholar, a statesman, and a gentleman. And uh, you know, whether you and I were on work together as al alderman at large over the 10 years, whether I sat next to you, directly next to you with you as mayor, or you sat directly next to me with me as mayor we've always respected and i can say i've always admired you you know as as a lawyer as an alderman and just as a damn good person so you know you're going to leave a huge hole in, in in our council and a huge hole in the in the lives of, of so many people that have seen you you know some of us for decades you know every week you know, I want you to enjoy your retirement, brother, you know, and know that you have, you've made history in the city of Aurora and you'll be a part of, of this city's history forever. And people always remember the name, Robert J. O'Connor. And we're going to make sure of it because you have set a foundation and, and set a bar here that we all, we all uh, strive to reach one day to be, to be that calming force as, as Alderman Loft, you pointed out, that calming force that, uh, that we call Bob O'Connor. When I say calming force, because you are forced to be reckoned with, but you, but you but you come at it in such a calm manner that make people recognize that you know there's so many there's a, there's a way that we should act, you know, with civility, and there's a, a way we should act in government, and you you set that standard, brother. So you know I'll have a lot more to say you know at your celebration on uh, at your celebration on Friday, but let me just tell you you know if if uh, Abraham Lincoln were alive today. I'm sure he'd be proud to call you friend as I am. Thank you, sir. My goodness. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I know you set the, the tone when you said my comments would be brief. Um, I really need to make them brief because I'm quite overwhelmed with how very kind everybody has been in, in the comments you've made. Uh, it means a great deal to me. Being an alderman has meant a great deal to me. And to have the, the respect uh, 
and friendship and just the ability to be with all of you has meant so much to me. So thank you for your very kind comments. I think as you each went through all of them, if my mother were here, and my mother is one who, from whom I got this sense of humor, she would probably say, now, which Bob O'Connor are they talking about? I'm not quite sure here, so, but thank you for your very, very uh, nice comments. Um, I, I too will have more to say, obviously, on Friday, and I'll try to be brief on Friday. Um, 36 years, if you put it in the context of, boy, where did that time go? And think about 36 years, uh, notwithstanding what everybody has always said about me in regard to when I was here in 1880 or 1910, um, please understand that I am not going to be part of the dinosaur safari. Uh, I'm not in that category. So, but I am in a category of, of truly enjoying 36 years. Um, next to my, my wife, Mary, and my family, uh, those 36 years have been the best years of my life in regard to what I've been able to do and to be with all of you. So I thank you very much. I appreciate it. I have a little bit more to say on Friday, but I am so appreciative of all the kindness that you've given me. Thank you. Nope. You see that? It's beautiful. Did they say something? Is that the missus in the background? Would she like to? Yes, that is. <laughs> feel, feel, feel free. If she'd like to come on screen and say something, we'd be happy to hear from. <laughs> well, she wanted to hear. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to put her in the category of my mother, but she wanted to hear these kind comments. So thank you. Well, they're all spoken from your heart and they're all, they're all very, very true. We only speak the truth, all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, with that, there is, uh, <laughs>